A Polk County boy honoring his special needs brother who drowned last month by helping deal with their own tragedies. In just a month, the seven-year-old has collected and donated dozens of teddy bears to local first responders. Kirk Forest Price McKeon shares this inspiring story. Um, Charlie shows us the 50 teddy bears he donated Thursday. This green bear with but this seven year old explains this story is about much more than stuffed animals. I'm glad I'm here, but I'm also glad that I get to talk about my brother. And I bet it's making them happy. These symbolize brotherly love that tragedy can't break. We're talking about something very special for my brother, Carson Tanner. That drowned. We reported last month his 15 year old special needs brother, Carson, drowned in a pond after going missing in the Appleton area. It says memory of Carson Blake. And that's your big brother. Yeah. And you gave it away. Yeah. Because, like I said, um, he, he, he had bears all around it, like with him. So Charlie took his brother's love for teddy bears, collected teddy bears, and now is donating more than 200 of them to first responders in Pope County. Yeah, this is a real special situation because normally if we get like donations, it's going to come from a, a corporation or an, an agency or just, you know, some kind of in kind donation. Russellville Fire Marshal Richard Setian says the teddy bears will go to kids just around Charlie's age who also are facing tragedy or fear to see. Once the firefighters leave, they need that. They need that ability to, to have something to latch onto. This kid may be gearing up for second grade. I'll see him one day because he's up there and I'll go up there eventually. But his actions show he's wise beyond his years. Very, very wise. 250 teddy bears in about a month. Well, Charlie told me that's just the start. The soon to be second grader says he hopes to collect more teddy bears and help even more kids. If you want to help him achieve this, then you can donate new teddy bears to the Central Fire Station and Russellville Fire Department. Back to you. Bryce, thanks very much. I have a feeling they're going to get a lot of teddy bears. What an inspiring story. Well,